Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I am having an allergy attack today. I guess all the pollen is out so if I sound all extra nasally that's why. <laughs> sinus, allergy, allergy, sinus. Oh, anyway, I am here <laughs> with a massive scrapbook.com haul. I think I'm going to end up breaking it into three videos because it's just so much stuff. Yeah, I've been steadily shopping scrapbook.com. There'll be a little bit of Simon Says Stamp and a few other goodies like Pretty Pink Posh as well, but it's primarily scrapbook.com. Also, crafters, don't forget to apply this code to your cart to get a discount. You'll get 6% off site-wide with the code SPRING. If you spend 100 or more, then you'll get 10% off site-wide with the same code SPRING. So add that code along with the already reduced prices at scrapbook.com. You are a happy crafter. Yay! Two thumbs up for great deals. Don't forget to add those freebies too. They recently had their SBC Fest. My order already came in from that SBC Fest. They get me with the freebies and then the discount on top of the already discounted price. So that always just gets me going. The scrapbook.com part three, that is gonna be cardstock and pattern paper because I think that needs its own thing. And you might not be interested in pattern paper, but oh, there's some pretty pattern paper this year too. Doodlebug, Echo Park, all the good brands. Alrighty crafters, let's get into this video. Let's get started. First up, funny enough, I'm gonna talk about craft supplies. This is the scrapbook.com double-sided foam adhesive shapes i have been using as you can see the one millimeter this is new this is new this is their older one see even the packaging is different at two millimeter i'm going to turn them over to the side because i have been having just a ton of fun with this you see the thickness thin in the middle and then thicker what you're looking at here this is called the large squares there's also a small square pack it looks really small. I haven't played with that one yet, but I've just been having fun either cutting a piece from this. This cuts very well. The one millimeter is nice and low. So if you want just a little height, that's your best friend. I've been using this one more than I thought I would. Two millimeter, think of that like your 3M foam. Three millimeter, just a little higher. So if you're doing florals, like I'm always doing, and you want that height gradient, you can go between these three. And they were on sale at the time I bought them. I'll let you know here on the screen if they're on sale. When they're on sale, you're looking at $1.99 each of these packs. In them, you're getting... I'll put it here on the screen because it doesn't say. But this is fun. In the past, I would be using cardstock to get the low height. And then I would use the 3M or this. And then I would go into the automotive foam tape from the Dollar Tree. It's just a nice slim pack. It cuts well. It sticks well. And I'm really enjoying this. If you're interested, I'll just put a link for their foam adhesive shapes. They have the squares. This is the large squares, like I said. There's also large circles and small circles. The thing with the circles, though, you're going to get that empty space. But then again, that might be nice, too. In all of these three sizes, one millimeter up to three, they even have some little bundles. I think some of them are sold out. But you can take a look because this is a really nice addition to crafting and going quicker and they do cut well they don't gum up your scissors either so i like that next this i believe is out of stock i waited months for this thing to come in this is the mint tape and this is scrapbook.com mint tape i like to use the mint tape when i'm working on stencils when i'm doing dyes or glimmer even better press. That's when I go into Spellbinders Yellow Tape. There is a difference between them. This has a very light stick. So I like to use it for that. I don't use it for die cutting because then it's just, I'm using it once and it's a waste. When I use the yellow tape for die cutting, I can reuse my little piece over and over again. And it has a better hold. Different things. This now is the tape roll for this. Because this is an inch wide. So a regular tape dispenser wouldn't work. They're normally three quarters of an inch or smaller. This is what it looks like. She has a lot of weight, but that's good because when she does have weight, that means you can do the one handed thing. <laughs> Let me open it up. Oh, she has little holders. Anti slide. I like that. You're going to have to ask to be notified unless they restocked it recently. But last time I checked, this thing wasn't back in stock. So you put that core through, roll out a piece, drop it in. And then I'm crafting. Oh, love it. You can stick your extras here. But I do like the cutting part. 
very sharp. But this is really nice. Pretty too. It goes with my craft mat. <laughs> oh, did you see? The new craft mat at Glassboard Studio. I'll put a picture here. Is rainbow. Yay. So that would be for the end of the month. They already picked the winner. So in the beginning of every month, yes, I'm going into a sidebar at Glassboard Studio. What you're looking at here, this is an 18 by 24 inch glass craft mat in true white. They have a craft mat of the month for every single month in the beginning of the month on Instagram. Just like, follow and leave a comment and then you can win one of these beauties. She's over $100. You can use my code Suzanne20 to get 20% off. I saw the rainbow one I think is pretty and I also saw in their standard offerings of craft mats there is a gray one too. Haven't seen it in person. The picture looks interesting but I need to see somebody have it. So one of these days if I ever see somebody on YouTube having it and they're filming with it. Jennifer McGuire she uses the black glass craft mat. I think she has the biggest size. So a lot of these crafty superstars, they do use these Glassware Studio craft mats. They're fabulous. Did I ever tell you that they can take heat too? Yeah, you can heat them, but I never do heat it. I just hold it in my hand and use a heat gun. But anyway, just wanted to let you know. Let me now go into some more scrapbook.com exclusives because every Thursday they have a live video and it's always just so nice to watch and then lately they've been really stepping up the game because of SBC Fest and such. They even invited Concord and Ninth and when I watched that video yes I went and bought something. <laughs> Scrapbook.com but these are some of their newer dies. I don't think this one is brand new but they used this in conjunction with one of these and I really liked it. So this is called the Celebration Banners. You can put this in your wish list at Scrapbook.com if it is full price now. Get them all on sale. One of the favorite things I do have, actually, double-sided adhesive tape. Love this stuff. This is quarter inch. I don't buy any bigger, but they do have other sizes. This is what I use in my card making. I buy the six pack when it's on sale at $11.99. That's the time that you go in. If they have an additional discount, thumbs up. And that's how I got this pack. I even have a freebie. Freebies. I'm going to do the freebies in video three because, oh my goodness, I have a lot of scrapbook.com freebies. I will admit it to you. Have I made a purchase just to get a freebie? Yes. <laughs> buy something just to be like, okay, I'll buy it now because, oh, that freebie is good. <laughs> you know, stacking freebies. So I have a lot of freebies. <laughs> Coming back to this. Oh, you can tell my allergies have my mind like this. I know. But I'm giving you lots of information. So this is called Celebration Banners. And the example they made on one of their live videos, I was like, that is cute. And then I had the discount and everything. So you get nine pieces. Let me give you a quick measure on the width. You're looking at four and a half inch wide, height, roughly one inch, but super cute. So they had this, I think with this one, this flower cart. Doesn't look cute here, but when assembled, Hello. And I believe there's a stamp for this, but I was like, skip the stamp. I just went ahead and got the cart. So it's flower cart, 26 pieces. In person, this is looking a lot more than I thought it would. <laughs> just use tweezers. Crafters, if you're looking at this and like, that's so many small bits, get yourself a pair of tweezers and reading glasses. The magnifiers, that's what I would use when I'm putting this together. But I love the top here and this part is just so cute. And it was on sale and extra discount, yeah. Then they had this, Hello Sunshine. There's a bunch of these phrases that have the background and then cursive font and then the standard font. But this is so cute. There's like, Hello Sunshine, you're sweet. There's a happy birthday and such. This is seven dies, really nice. The only thing I'll tell you, sweet and hello are not welded together like sunshine. So you're gonna have to put it in one letter at a time, but they're big enough to work on this background. I wanted to do this video because I want to start opening up some of this stuff and really playing with it. This is Rabbit. Oh, I love Rabbit. They had a whole video of just showing all these new exclusive dies. Come on. <laughs> Hopefully this is still there. This Rabbit is so cute. They got me with the glasses, all the different glasses. You could do the Rabbit without. You could do the Rabbit with the hair tie. You could do the Rabbit with the bow tie. I think this is adorable. 20 pieces. And this one didn't have a bad price point. I got them all on sale. So I have two things that I bought at scrapbook.com from Altenew. I think this is new. This has been out for a while, but both of them. Hello. These are Altenew Better Press Press Plates for A2 cards. 
love and look at the texture on both of them so this is an agreement between spellbinders and alta new and spellbinders has been working with a lot of companies to make better press plates for them i'll give you some of them right now alta new pink fresh studio ldrs creative which is little darlings rubber stamp hero arts but this is so nice i love this texture burlap so this one is called rustic burlap and this one is wood press plate going horizontal with the wood slats love this is actually a full a2 five and a half inch tall four and a quarter inch wide love this so i'm happy to have both of these i think these will be nice to add to projects next this is the trouble that concord and ninth got me into <laughs> this is a little older this is newer i was watching the live with scrapbook.com and Concord and Ninth, and then they showed this Just Calling die set, and they were rolling it, and I didn't realize you could stamp sentiments in here and have it interactive. It is super duper cute. Here's an example of what it looks like. Just Calling, this is a high quality photopolymer stamp. You get sentiments like Just Calling to Say, and then you do that rotary thing where you can show all these little sentiments, which is I miss you. I love you. I heard the big news. Hello. Let's get together. Happy birthday. Hip, hip. Hooray. Sorry. Let me give you a measurement on the phone base. Two and a half inch wide by two and a half inch tall. This looks so cute when they did that live and then they were showing all the examples. I had purchased this before. As you can see, I already put all my little magnets and such. This was inspired by, who was it? Was it Jennifer McGuire or Laura Basson? One of the two crafters. So you can see I have extra elements here in the back because you know I like to spread out my stuff. Plus this was so oversized, it came like gigantic. No, I needed to bring it down and put it in one of my little storage pockets here. Have an order to it. <laughs> yes, crafty OCD. It's real in my world. Anyway, here is a little banner, the Primrose Garden set. So you stamp all of this in here. This is so much fun. Like I wanted to get this, but then I saw this and I was like, might as well. Sending you so much love. Miss you so. Thinking of you. Thank you. Congrats. Hello. Best of luck. Happy birthday from all of us. You could probably use it from all of us over here too. It's small enough. There are lots of examples of this and I really liked how they did the foliage background. Kind of like Spellbinders. It's an A2. It's about a hair under five and a half inch tall. Four and a quarter inch wide. It does come with that outline and then the flowers, but you can choose to use this or not. And then piece the flowers on like a puzzle. Cute. Love that. Up next, crafters. Lawn Fawn. Look at this. <laughs> From their new spring release. I did not buy everything, but then I was watching some of those Lawn Fawn videos and I was like, gosh, this stuff is so cute. Then I had a little extra discount to scrapbook.com. So this, win-win. First up, this is the Carrot About You banner. That's the die. And this is the coordinating stamp that comes with the sentiments. Happy Spring, Easter, thank you, hooray, and driving by to say. And I love that it already has a shape so you don't have to worry about, you know, shaping it. And just use your Misty for this. Love. All right, next, look at this cuteness. Look at the little bunnies. This is called hey there hey rides so you get some little bunnies and another extra bunny by itself and some carrots <laughs> so cute <laughs> then you get some small sentiments here wow carrots cabbages hello some bunny loves you it's us this is so cute i really liked this one this is the watering can that watering can is three and a half inch wide by two inches tall comes with a spade and all that oh so super cute There's a photograph on the back and you can tuck things in it too. So it has that cut line right there to tuck. Or you could do florals and such. Love. Then this is the stitched root vegetables. Oh, this is so super sweet. Then look at the little faces. You could stamp faces on it or put those drop in of those faces. So it'll look like this. Happy veggies. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? <laughs> Back in the day with Sesame Street. <laughs> you would see like a bunch of vegetables singing. That's what this is reminding me of. This is so cute. So this would be great for cards for kids. <laughs> With that whole vibe, right? Eat your vegetables, be healthy or something. This is so cute. So you get like a carrot and some root vegetables. <laughs> I don't know why. I just saw the faces and it just occurred to me. Those could be singing characters. 
<laughs> Sesame Street. Anyway, there's also the Stitch Garden vegetables. Looks like a pepper, um, maybe some cabbage, <laughs> lettuce. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop laughing. I can't help it. Okay, so you can mix these two together, it looks like. <laughs> Let me do the carrot two inches by like one and a quarter. Sesame Street. But it is true though. You can, yeah, I'm getting that vibe. Um, one and a half by one and three quarter of an inch. Those are adorable. Then this is build a drink mason jar add-on. Now I was not gonna get this, but then the price wasn't crazy and I liked the little tag and the little bow and this little blueberry got me. There was an example I saw, there it is, with the blueberries. I was just like, I don't have a blueberry, do I? I have strawberries, a few strawberry dyes, I don't have a blueberry dye, and that's a good blueberry. So I said, okay, I'll get it. You know, it comes with the jar and everything else. And this looks like it can be a shaker too. Super cute. Next, give it a whirl scallop add-on. There is another piece to this to make this whole interactive thing. No, I did not get that. I just got this scallop because the scallop is so cute. <laughs> the add-on. The price point wasn't bad. I went ahead and did it, but you could do this whole thing. You can look on the Lawn Fawn YouTube channel for the give it a whirl, but... The other piece, that's the one that has the higher price point. This is like the little add-on. So this is a nice scallop in and of itself. And then these are the pieces to, to create a little scene. So I thought that was good by itself. Then there is these cutie patooties, the little mice. I love the mice so much. This is Veggie Happy stamp set and Veggie Happy coordinating die set. Look at that little scene. All the little mice and all the gardening, little sayings. Yeah, I really need to get back into this. I'll see these lawn fawn things and then I'll buy them and I'm like, I really need to and then I don't. I did say if I'm going to get it, I'm going to do something with it. This collection for sure. Spring. So cute. And these are not hard to color anyway. They don't take long because they're so small. Next, look at this. Carrot about you. It's probably going to be the bunnies for Easter. Look at all the tulips, the little carrots, the carrot cars. Oh, so adorable. And then the coordinating die. Let me give you a measurement on that carrot car. Two and one eighth of an inch by like one and a quarter. So these are small sizes, you know, that little mouse. You're looking at one and an eighth tall, under three quarters of an inch, okay? Cute, 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 cute. The cuteness got me, that's what got me. And then I love this little fence. I have a lot of fence dies. <laughs> Why? Because I love fence dies. There I have bigger ones and small ones, but I don't have like a mini slim line like this. I think this is so cute. This one is called Little Farm Fence Border. It just has a nice size. Six mm -hmm. inches wide by three quarters of an inch tall, okay? And lastly, this is the lovely Lily of the Valley dice. I have something like this from Spellbinders with the February Kit Club with the Easter basket. That's the large die of the month. But this looks a little bit taller. The florals are somewhat the same. So let me give you a measurement on this tall one. It's over four and a half inch tall. The width, one and a half. Let me show you the Spellbinders one, and I will link this below. Oh, Spellbinders had their club craft along live video today with Yana and Jennifer McGuire and all the talented folks at Spellbinders itself. Definitely watch that on the replay on the Spellbinders YouTube channel. So fun. But I need to watch the replay because I got called into a Zoom meeting that I couldn't get out of. So I missed pretty much the whole thing. So that's the good thing about watching a live on a replay. <laughs> I did sneak in one or two, but I couldn't sneak the whole thing in. It just wasn't happening. But you see the Lily of the Valley here? Now, Yana made a basket like this. Oh, hello. This is last month's kit club, so this would be a past kit club. I will put a link for this die set. I'll put the name here on the screen too. But the March kit club, which is right now with the books, that one is still there for new subscriptions. It's open until the 27th. I bet you after today's live, a lot of things are going to be sold out, okay? So in here, you see the scaling, but you see the flower. It's just a little bit different. Kind of the same, but this is bigger. You see how this is thicker and the leaves are different? So it's two different looks. I like things like that. I like multiple die sets. I can't help it. It's always been my thing. I know. I have a die warehouse. At <laughs> I have a craft room. Let me stop. Moving on. Look at the cuteness. Love it. Up next. Has Pretty Pink Posh just been making all sorts of cuteness lately? Yes, they have. I love that scrapbook.com carries Pretty Pink Posh now. Sometimes they'll have an extra discount and you can shop at Pretty Pink Posh itself. 
This I bought at Pretty Pink Posh itself. It came down, I don't remember, like an extra 25% off or something. It was a really good deal at that point. Birthday treat box. So super cute. So this will make a treat box that is three and a quarter, a little bit over three inch wide. This is something that if I ever get back to a crop, <laughs> I would make crop gifts because last time I went to a crop, I certainly did not carry a crop gift. And then at my table, I got to the crop so late that my six foot table had the crop gift from the crop host and then extra gifts. And then the lady in front of me, hi, I made you that out there. And then the lady across from her, oh, I made you this. And I was like, dang it, I didn't bring anything. I forgot about crop gifts. <laughs> I wasn't cropping as much and I didn't know them, but that was just so sweet of them. Don't you love crafters? So they made gifts for us. So now, like after having that embarrassing experience and having then to go find something, then give them back. It's like, okay, next crop I go to, I'm making a few of these because you can stuff anything in here. And she even gave me a bag of candy so I could do this with candies. But this is cute because you could do birthday, treat boxes for a classroom, co-workers, anybody you're having a party and you want to do favors this is a one-time run too seven and a half inch tall so this would already fit in your standard die cutting machine the width five inches if you have a platinum six and you have the universal plate system then you're getting the extra long cutting plates at that point i would turn it at an angle you don't want to cut this straight just angle it a little bit take off the pressure off your plates your die cut machine turn a little angle don't go straight in okay die cutting tip Picked this up last year. This is called Rectangles Die Set. Scallop with a little dot detail and stitching. Love. Let me give you the biggest one. Five and a quarter by four inches. They came out in February or January, I guess, for February. Eyelid hearts. Hearts are all year round winners and I think this is just so pretty. It was waving at me going, I'm pretty, pick me up. <laughs> Add me to your cart. Four inches tall by four inches wide. This is so cute. So you get four sets of hearts. Now I also picked up at that time stitched hearts. I believe these work together. Hopefully they do. I haven't opened this up yet either, but I love all of the excitement in here too. Look at the stripe detail. This is a cut line. So that means when you cut this out, you can do it rainbow colors if you wish. There's that stitch, double stitch. Oh, this is fun. Polka dots, waffle, more polka dots, but this cuts out a polka dot. This gives you the embossed polka dot. And then here is another heart with stitching. These are really cute. Big heart. Let me give you the measurement on that. Two and three quarters of an inch wide by two and three quarters of an inch tall. So this might not work in here. I like both of them. So yeah. <laughs> this is new now. The eyelet circles. I love a good scallop with stitching and dots. Four inches wide. Okay. For the biggest one. Big Valentine cupcake. I believe I got this one maybe at the same Pretty Pink Posh sale or vice versa. One was at the sale and one was at scrapbook.com. But isn't this cute? And mix and match these two. The cupcake base, two and a half by one and three quarter. And then you get that topping, which can come over here. Here's another one. This is called the birthday cupcake. So super cute. Again, two and a half, one and three quarter with toppings. That drippy frosting. Anytime I see dripping for icing or something, these two things get me in trouble all the time. <laughs> I love it. I love the drippy goodness. And then this looks like ice cream too. So even though it says cupcake, I bet you could have this as a ice cream. But these cupcakes might be something like the winter mug when you have the spring mug add-ons, which I just showed you in a recent I video. on my spring mug additions goes with the winter mug and then there's all different seasons for the mugs but you could bring some elements out of here into here and do like a spring cupcake but because i'm seeing this more than once i'm thinking they might do this all different kinds of ways too that would be nice hopefully fingers crossed i love pretty pink posh it's just fun and i love how they use the stitch detail too all right next a lot of honeybee stamp goodness so one of them, which I would definitely be cutting this down. Look how tall this is. It even arrived bent, which really irks me. But I would cut it down to like here. So you get this flower base. And this one is called Bold Backgrounds Vintage Roses. 
and you make something like this. This is pretty. So you get that floral base and then build up these lovely layers. This is five and a half inch tall, four and a quarter. So this is a full A2 and then you get those flowers. And there's this really cool layering guide. If you don't have the guide or you misplace it, you can always search on Honeybee Stamp and you can download it. Next, there's this bird cage. So pretty. Lovely layers bird cage. This bird cage measures five inches tall, three and one eighth of an inch wide. And then you can take these two birds here. Yes, I saw an example. On the Honeybee Stamps YouTube channel, actually. Here again, layering guide. Look at the birds on the inside. These birds got me with the colors and everything. I think this is so sweet. This is Lovely Layers Love Birds. And they do fit in this very pretty cage. This bird cage looks like something you would find in a botanical garden. So pretty. It's like vintage but not but is <laughs> and then this one love this too lovely layers sweetheart roses you get the urn base and then you build the flowers and everything is in clusters they're trying to make it easier because look at that building this would give you a headache but this one seems to be just here this one looks like it's this this one and then this one, they're all pieces are here. There is the greenery, the foliage. So there's your foliage frame to then build on. Really pretty. Sweetheart roses. Love this. Next, Waffle Flower. Waffle Flower has a new release. And this is not brand new. This is a previous release, but I'll show it to you here because I did collect it. I have been steadily collecting these Lacy Layers dies. The only one available at scrapbook.com now, I think, is the newer size, this size, and the A2. But there is 5 by 7 circle, square. I've been collecting them over the years. I have all of these Lacy Layers. They're very pretty. The packaging does come with a magnet already built in it. A6 card size is 4.5 inch wide by 6.25 inch tall. Then you get all these layers, and I love the scallop with the dot detail. So I did have to add this to my collection of lacy layer goodness. Waffle Flower itself still carries all of their lacy layers. Like if you wanted to get the 5 by 7 and the circles, there's even, I believe, a lacy layer heart too. So cute. Love this. Now this is from their new release. There is the Sweet Plaid Texture Die. This has an accompanying die to it, but when I saw the examples, I was like, it just wasn't moving me. And I have plaid dies, and I'm like, mm -hmm, that one, not so much. But this, I love the detail on it when you use it by itself. So I said, I'll go ahead with it. This is an A2 size, okay? Then they had the sweet plates. I love the little bowl with the layering piece to work back to their strawberries. I have now maybe about three or four strawberry die sets, but I do like the strawberries. And this one had a lot of really cool things going on with it. So you'll get the leaf, you get the strawberries, some pieces of strawberries here, I guess these smaller ones, then some flowers. The only thing that's missing from this, which would be nice, is if I had a solid back for this. It does have cut lines here, but I don't want to piece the seeds back in. I would rather just have a solid in the back, but that's the only drawback with this. But I love the little flowers and everything and the examples I saw. Super cute. So yes, strawberry dyes. Wasn't a terribly high price point. And I think what got me was these in a bowl. <laughs> it was just like, oh yes, cute. Add to cart. And then there was this, which I was a little disappointed by because, of course, I didn't read the size. This is exactly an A2. So this is Waffle Flower Gingham Berry Sweet Paper Pack. I thought this was going to be a 6x6. Crafters, I'm going to do a quick flip through with this because I know I was supposed to do papers at the end. But this goes with that whole strawberry spring goodness. All right. So Gingham Berry Sweet. Let's take a flip. Quick flip. Oh, it's two-sided. Look at that. Love the colorway. But I'm just, you know, it would have been nice if, and it's a repeat. So how many is in here? 24 sheets of 12 designs, but really pretty. I love these colors, the greens over here and here. The blue, that's fun too, because you could use this for Easter, definitely. Okay, crafters, I think I'm going to stop here for my part one of scrapbook.com mega haul because I have a lot more stuff to show you, but I'll put that in video two. Okay, crafters, everything will be detailed and linked below if you're interested in any of the goodies you saw. Some of it is just like, oh, so much fun, and definitely give that foam a try. You'll be so happy. One millimeter, two millimeter, three millimeters, like baby bear, 
mama bear, papa bear. So you get to play with height very easily. And I like that it's a complete thing that I don't have to be pulling different brands to achieve the same thing. Alrighty crafters, until video two, stay crafty my friends. Bye.